Good morning. Here again I have come back with a new problem on integration by the method of substitution. This is the given problem. Okay. This is the given integral. Integration of tan x minus tan alpha divided by tan x plus tan alpha. Here dx is there. And dx must be there. This is alpha. Alpha is a constant and x is the variable. So we have to evaluate this integral. Okay. So to do this, first of all, you write this tan x in terms of sin x and cos x and also tan alpha in terms of sin alpha and cos alpha. Right. So we are doing the same thing here. Sin x divided by cos x minus sin alpha divided by cos alpha and in the denominator you do the same thing ok so this is sin alpha divided by cos alpha so what is the result result is uh, this will be what sin x cos alpha minus uh, cos x sin alpha right and here in the denominator you will get the same thing but with a positive sign in the middle this positive signs uh, i was talking about this positive sign okay so what is the result uh, right here dx must be there here also dx must be there okay the next part i am showing here okay after this line this will be the left line okay so this is what this is integration of sin x minus alpha right and in the denominator sin x plus alpha and of course dx is there the dx so now what to do you just assume this x plus alpha is equal to z and differentiate both sides of this so on differentiation we are getting dx is equal to dz for alpha it will get 0 because alpha is a constant therefore the given integral i becomes sin of x is how much x is now z minus alpha so z minus alpha minus alpha and in the denominator sin z and here of course dz dx will be replaced by dz right so this is what this is sin z minus 2 alpha so sin in the denominator sin z here dz is there and here sin z minus 2 alpha right Okay, next part I am showing here. Uh, so, so what? So that is equal to after this line you follow this this line. Okay. So what is in the new uh, new monitor? It is sine j. We just expand this. Okay. Sine j cos two alpha cos two alpha minus uh, cos j sine two alpha. Right, I think you can see easily. Let me check. Uh, yeah, that is visible, clearly visible. There is no problem. And here, dz must be there. And in the denominator, sin z was there. Okay. So, what is this? This divided by this is equal to cos 2 alpha. Okay. So, integration of cos 2 alpha dz minus here you are getting sin 2 alpha sin 2 alpha and here uh, cot z sorry 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 not alpha it is cot z cot z dz right cot z here dz is there okay and uh, so what is the integration of this uh, cos 2 alpha is a constant so you will get what you will get cos 2 alpha into integration of dz minus here sin 2 alpha into integration of cot z 
dz. Right? So what is the integration of this? Only z. So here you are getting z cos 2 alpha. This is cos cos 2 alpha. Okay, z cos 2 alpha. And here what you are getting there, there you are getting log of sin z. Okay, there you are getting log of sin z uh, integration of cos z. So uh, sin 2 alpha log of sin z. Right. And a constant of integration c. You just now put the uh, expression for z which is equal to x plus alpha. So here I am doing the same thing x plus alpha cos 2 alpha. Right. Then this minus sin 2 alpha log of sin sin x plus alpha okay plus a constant of integration c okay i am showing here plus c okay then here you can see that alpha into cos 2 alpha is there so that is a constant so alpha into cos 2 alpha plus c instead of writing this alpha into cos 2 alpha plus c you just write another constant c1 Therefore, the result becomes x cos 2 alpha minus sin 2 alpha log of sin x plus alpha, okay, plus another constant c1. This is sin, okay, x cos 2 alpha minus sin 2 alpha log of sin x plus alpha plus c1. So, we have written c1 instead of c plus it, uh, C plus alpha into cos 2 alpha. Let me again check. Yeah, everything is visible. C1, uh, C1, that part is not visible here. Okay, so I am writing here C1. Okay, this mod sign is there. Then that C1 sign is there. C1, that symbol is there. C1. Or, okay, now the uh, lower most portion is visible. There is no problem. Okay, so this was the given problem. So we proceed, uh, we have proceeded this way. Okay, then these lines are there, then these lines are there. Okay, so this is the end of this problem. Okay, next we move to another problem from the same chapter. Okay, uh, in this YouTube channel, you will get many subjects like mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology. Okay, and uh, Different subjects of mechanical engineering also like heat and mass transfer, fluid mechanics, uh, theory of machines, strength of materials, engineering mechanics. Okay, uh, like a um, uh, few more subjects are there uh, which will be covered uh, in this YouTube channel. And uh, now you can see only me, uh, but uh, later you will see. One more person, the name of that person is uh, Shomita Ghati. Uh, she is helping me a lot in making my videos. So both the names will appear. Uh, I think I, I should better uh, say that both the names should appear in all my videos. Okay. My name is Deepak Shah and her name is Shomita Ghati. So both the names will appear uh, in all my videos. Okay. So different subjects will be there. Later we will see one by one different subjects okay so this was a problem from the subject of mathematics anyway this is the end of this lecture thank you for watching this video have a nice day